Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, hi, hello, my name is Lauren. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys five tips you need to know if you wanna sell digital products on Etsy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Tip number one, cover photos and mock-ups are absolutely necessary. First, let's talk about your cover photo. This is the first photo that everyone sees whenever they're scrolling through Etsy trying to find a product. It is that main image and the one that catches their eye. This is going to be where you need to excel. Because as a digital product, oftentimes you don't have a physical hard copy of an item. So you need to find a way to show your item in use for people to figure out what it's going to look like in person. The best way to do this is through mock-ups. Mock-ups are essentially people who take an item and make it look from digital into in person. This could, for example, be someone who took a photo of an iPad and then you can insert your photo to look as though it is on the iPad and right in front of the camera. This is a great way to make your product stand out and allow people to really see what it's going to be like once they have it in their hands. Mockups can be purchased on Etsy. There are a ton of shops that actually sell different mockups. So from everything from physical items like t-shirts and mugs to iPad mockups for digital products you want to sell on there or even computers if it's like a course or a downloadable or even an ebook. Whatever it is that you're selling, definitely go and search up mockups for whatever type of item it is and you'll see a ton of different options out there. I promise. Tip number two, you should be creating new listings as often as you possibly can, preferably every day, if not at least once a week. Because I will tell you now that most shops that have digital products have a lot, a lot of listings. I'm talking hundreds to sometimes thousands because it's much easier to create a digital product sometimes than a physical product. Now, obviously this is not for every little niche and item that's digital, so keep that in mind. You know how much work it needs to go into it in order to build and develop a really high quality product. But I will say that the more listings you can put out there, the better and because it's a digital item that means your overhead costs are going to be lower so you can actually create more listings and the more listings you have the more opportunities you have to show up in front of people on Etsy. Tip number three you need to be on social media if you are not using social media to sell your digital product yet you got some work to do my friend we've got to get you on some social media platform and now I will say it's probably best to pick one to start with one or two in my opinion depending on which ones you choose. If you're going to go the Instagram or the TikTok route, then I definitely recommend doing both at the same time because you can create the same type of content for both and repurpose it pretty easily without having to do a ton of extra work. Using social media is going to be a fantastic way for you to one, grow your Etsy shop, but to two, also show people what your items look like in person or in use. So for example, I had a digital planner shop and on there I would create videos of me using my digital products on my actual iPad and my phone and my computer. This gave people an idea of what the item looks like in person, how does it run, how easy is it to use, and just gives them more ideas on how they can use their actual items. If you're someone who sells things like printable cards or invitations, these are things that again, you're gonna wanna use those mock-ups with a combination of you actually physically having the product done and at its in printed out form, and use those to show people what they can create with your digital item from Etsy. Offering this to people really shows them how to use it to its fullest potential and it really encourages more buyers. Not only that, but you are going to grow your own community as well as a following of people who are interested in you, your brand, and your business. Tip number four is that you should be using the video listing on your Etsy listing. Now, if you are lucky enough to have this feature because I'm not totally sure everyone still has it yet, but if everyone does, you need to be using it, guys. This is a video feature is a great way for again you to showcase what this digital item can look like in person or in use for your customer for me I would create these videos that I used on social media of me using these digital planners but I would also repurpose those videos to be on my Etsy listing so people can get a glimpse of what the item is gonna look like in their personal life and it just makes people so much more interested in the actual item and they're so much more likely to buy it because they know what it's gonna look like when they get it 
And tip number five, you need to disclose that your item is digital as many places as possible. This is a big one for digital products because as someone who sells them, you typically are not going to offer refunds because there's no way to prove that a person is not going to use that digital item once you've refunded it. Now, obviously there are those exceptions and that's up for you as a business to decide. In my personal business, it has not made sense for a digital item. So a way to combat that is by putting it in as many places as you possibly can. If you have room in your title, fantastic. If you can write it in text on your cover photo, awesome. If you can put it into your description and maybe even your tags. And then I would also throw it in your announcement section or your cover photo, wherever you can to let people know that this is not going to be a physical item sent to them. This will be a digital item that they have to print out, download at home. And make sure that people know that because sometimes they can get confusing if they see a mock-up or an item that looks like it's printed out in person and you don't want to cause that confusion you want it to be as easy for your customer to shop as possible question of the day for you guys if you have a digital product that you sell on Etsy what is it and make sure to leave your shop down below so that we can all support each other right here on the screen for you guys I'm going to link another video that I think you're gonna to want to go and watch after this one as well as an entire playlist full of Etsy content that I know you guys are going to love down here you're also gonna find two subscribe buttons one to this channel here where I upload every week on Friday as well as my second channel with more lifestyle and fun fashion related content I upload there weekly as well and without further ado guys that brings us to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching I will see you all in my next one bye guys